Hello again and welcome back to Starfield. Well, in the last episode, uh, before we walked into this building that we're in now, we were walking outside and we got an activity here. Talk to Tevin Anastas. And I said that I was going to go back and look and see how I got that quest. And so I did go back and look and apparently we walked past a neon security guard who said Tevin Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise, you don't want a piece of that. And then for whatever reason, that turned into a quest. The neon security guy says, you don't want a piece of that. And now our guy wants a piece of it, apparently. So that's what's going on with old Tevin and Nastus. Um, we'll, maybe we'll get to that in this episode. I'm not sure. Right now, we're doing a quest called Absolute Power. Uh, we're locating some evidence to extort a Yumi Kyomiko. Uh, the tech I need is with Jennerdyne, Neon's power utility company. I need, I'll need i need to speak to uh, Mika? Mika? I don't know. The owner of a club named Euphorica who can help me make contact with one of Jennerdyne's executives. So Mika could tell us about a Yumi Komiko's whereabouts, but it would be good if we found some evidence. In the last episode, I thought that we would get the evidence from this guy sitting here, uh, but we didn't. And I'm going to change my clothes again. We don't need to be wearing the SY920 stuff anymore. Um, I'm actually not... Yeah, we're, I don't think we're wearing the space suit. We're wearing... Yeah, Ensign Zeremi's uniform. Um, let's go back to the... Um, well, you know, we're in neon, so let's be a little flashy. What do you say? That sounds pretty good. Uh, am I wearing uh, a hat at all? I've got a helmet. Huh, I don't know where. I guess maybe a pa if Okay, I could put on a Deimos cap. Sure, or I could put on a, a, a crew hat. Oh, you know what? I actually kind of like that look. Let's go with that. That's not bad. We're going to go with that. Uh, there we go. And so now when we're walking around, we uh, look like this. Hello, how are you? I, um, I am in neon, so I am dressing flashily. <clears throat> anyway, before all that, I said we were going to try to get some dirt on a, me or a Yumi from this guy, but we weren't able to. So now we're just going to wander around in here. Maybe that's her computer in there. I don't know. Hello, how are you? I don't have time for this. Talk to my secretary if you need something. Oh, uh, you don't have time, huh? You have time to make coffee, but you don't have time to, time to talk to me? Catherine Luzian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder murder yeah right hysterical old broad and we have another activity great <laughs> that's fantastic okay I just uh, can't we just have to have our fingers in everything don't we what? I'm working here <laughs> can you imagine can you imagine being that rude that you see a p person walk in and you say what I'm working here can you I don't know man uh, I mean, maybe if you're having a really bad day and that was like the last straw, maybe, but even then, I'm not supposed to be here. I just want to be here. Me either. He's never around. If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. Oh, okay. You're excused. Oh, listen to this interesting piece of music playing here. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to hack my way in here but I mean now even now that I'm in here oh there is a computer on the wall over there oh there's a safe here too oh what's this a switch oh my what do you think that switch does uh I wonder if it closes these shutters it does <laughs> oh well I'm gonna shut this door but you know darn well that Andres is gonna come in and just open it again right probably right when I'm in the middle of hacking into this computer uh, speaking of which I do have to hack into it I'm gonna hit F5 here mostly because I'm worried that Andres is gonna walk in here she's gonna open that door right when I'm in the middle of doing this and that security guard out there is gonna see it happen but this uh, this looks like a really really easy system to break into famous last words Yeah, this is, um, this is child's play. Child's play, I tell you. Play for children. 
Let's get some dirt. Notifications. Security reminder. Automated update failed. Update available. Security reminder. Your security software has expired. Please contact your provider for the latest update. Automated update failed. Update available. A new update is available for your current operating system. Is this a joke? I hope you can do this without locking us out of the system. <laughs> Where are you, Andreja? <laughs> the ghost of Andreja has spoken. So what? What? I mean... Okay, what is the purpose? I'm, here I am looking for dirt on... What's her face? And I'm not finding anything. And I thought that this dot meant that there was something new here. But maybe it just means that's what you have selected. Uh, so that didn't do anything. Andreja, I swear. So now the only thing I could think of is to, to break into this safe and see if there's any incriminating evidence in it. Because that's, that's about it. Either that or I'm going to have to go back to a previous save and try to talk to that guy again. Because remember, we tried to persuade him in the last episode and we failed. All right, this is a master safe. This is this is going to be a toughie. So strap in, folks. See, that leaves me with a one. I try not to do that, but uh, we have one, two, we have four ones, so I think we'll be okay. We'll do that. We'll do that, and then for this one, we'll do. Um, let's see. Let's see if any of these four prongers do anything. Here's a three pronger. And then we'll need, um, yeah, this guy here, that'll work. And then for this ring, we could do this, which leaves us with a one, but that's okay, because we have two more ones. And then uh, we could do the, oh, we're in, this isn't even a challenge. When you have these ones, it makes it very easy. Aha, we have evidence. We have evidence. And oh no, this stuff fell into my pocket. Oopsies. Meeting with Bayou. We now have evidence to extort. Oh, 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 now we have to use the evidence. We found it. But now we need to use it. Use evidence to extort Ayumi Kimiko. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to use it. But uh, let's take a look at it. See what we just picked up. Meeting with Bayou. All right, Ben. What was so important I had to come to the office in the middle of the night? It's the numbers, Ayumi. I don't like what I'm seeing. If you'd stop interfering with my company, the numbers would be better. Your company? That's funny. I thought it belonged to Mr. Harada. Give me a break. We both know you set up that identity so we could both reap the profits off the books. If Jenardine was showing a profit, we wouldn't be having this conversation. How the hell am I supposed to make a profit when all I have is your brother, the idiot, and my chief technician? I'd choose your next words very carefully, Miss Komiko. Raise the utility costs to your clients, cut some staff, I don't care how you do it. I want Jenardine's profit soaring by the end of the month. And if I ever hear you talking about Brayson like that again, well, I'm sure you can imagine the consequences. Well, there it is all laid out. It could not be any cleaner than that. Harada isn't even a real person. It's an identity they set up so that they could reap the profits. That's why we keep hearing the employees saying, I never see Mr. Harada. There you go. That is some serious, serious. That is a smoking gun right there, man. Serious evidence. I just I don't understand why the computer's there. I don't know, maybe a little little uh, <clears throat> red herring kind of thing by the developers for funsies. I don't know. Hey, man, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Boy, security is just whew, top notch here, right? What if we talk to this guy again? Genadine Industries welcomes you to our corporate office. Oh. Do we want to share this information with him? Sure, why not? Do you know that your CEO, Mr. Harada, is actually Administrator Bayou? What? Oh my god. Funny thing is, when you think about it, it actually makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. 
I've never actually met Mr. Harada. I haven't even seen a picture of the man. I've only communicated with him via messages. So that means Bayou has a controlling stake in Genadine already. And he's soaking up a corporate salary to boot. Pure genius. Well, this certainly puts a different spin on things. I'll just keep my head down for now and my mouth shut about Brazen Bayou. Yeah, it's probably for the best, dude, but you might want to start looking for another job. Thanks for taking the time to talk. Sure. Well, I think we've made a friend here. I think we've made a friend. All right. We are now going to go to the lobby. Boy, so many places to go in this building. Ooh, exciting. Okay, so in that direction, we could ask Mika about her whereabouts, but how do I go about using the evidence? Use evidence. I mean, maybe we'll have to use that evidence in order to get her to speak? I don't know. Some nice music coming out of the Astral Lounge there. Hi there. Welcome to the Trade Tower. Oh, thanks. That's nothing new. The place is a dump. Maybe we should set up more posts in the area. Why bother? If they want to tear themselves to shreds, let them. As long as all that stays out of the plaza, our job is done. Stay out of trouble or we'll have a problem. Stay out of trouble or we'll have a problem. Back off, that's an order, not a suggestion. All right, we're going to go over here to Ebb's side. Euphorica. Whoa. how this goes you know i tried aurora once i did not enjoy the experience well, yeah okay let's settle this once and for all velocity or chimera you kidding chimera all day why do you think i'm here i don't know chimera is nice but velocity that will get you hammered See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. By the third chimera, you're floating on frickin' cloud nine. I don't know about you, but that's where I'd rather be. Yeah, I guess you're right. Where the hell did Micah learn to mix a drink like that anyway? Well, let's face it, some people are just... gifted. Let's face it. Citizen, citizen, Not citizen. getting zoned in the members' lounge. Really? I've been doing it wrong all this whole time. Ooh, computers. Mission board. Bounty clearance. Well, there's Micah. I love the vibe of this place. Oh, Danny Garcia. Um, Is this like somebody you could hire, maybe? Excuse me. I don't suppose you're looking for a robotics expert, are you? I have a vested interest in getting out of Neon. Okay, so... Uh, Game-wise, why do I need a robotics expert? What does that do for me? I'd like to know more about that. Well, why don't you tell me about your skills first? I have a good deal of experience with machines, especially robots. I'm also an expert in the manufacture of certain chemical substances. What? But I guarantee I'll figure out whatever job you give me, even if I've never done it before. I've got a good head on my shoulders. Uh-huh. Um, I mean... I don't think so. Fine. Whatever. I'll be here if you change your mind. You know, I don't think I like your attitude. You know, I, I say no to everybody first to see how they respond to rejection. And um, I you failed. You failed that test. You know, I either want somebody to accept it gracefully or I want somebody to fight. 
you did neither of those. You just were like dismissive and you just gave up. And that is not what I... Don't walk away from me. That is what I'm looking for in a crew member. I'm just talking to myself right now. Ooh, locked door. Requires a key. Oh, now, now I have to wait in line behind this citizen before we could talk to, to her. To Mika. Mika, Mika, I don't know. So this is, um... This is euphorica, huh? This is it. I mean, doesn't really make a very good impression when you first walk in. I mean, the first thing you see are garbage cans. You know, a stain. Spilled cocktail shaker. Cleaning equipment, even though it's not clean. Not not a good first impression. Now, once you get in here, it's not bad. I, I kind of kind of like the vibe. I actually like it a lot. I like the color scheme. I like the carpet. You know, the little booths set up so that she could sit down and chat. All right. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, she's working at the bar. It'd be kind of weird if she didn't know how to make a drink and she was working at the bar, but I guess it wouldn't be the first time that happened. Anyway, hello, Micah. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. Well, they're, they're, they're not beating around the bush here, are they? We could get straight to, I'm looking for a Yumi Komiko. We could say, I don't need a special place to experience Aurora. We could say, I'm just looking to relax and enjoy a drink. Can I purchase Aurora here? Or can you tell me more about this member's lounge? Yeah, tell me about the member's lounge. Customers choose our lounge because they desire a more relaxed and sedate journey as they experience the joy of Aurora. We have no blaring music no crowds, no chaos. The mood here is specifically crafted to allow a full range of mindful self-exploration. Really? Well, can I can I purchase Aurora here? Sorry, no. Aurora sales are only permitted through the Astro Lounge. We simply provide a safe haven for you to enjoy it in peace. If you desire access to the lounge, you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. Otherwise, you're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Um, what's, what's a chimera? It's a specialty alcoholic beverage only served here at Euphorica. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Well, well are there any other perks that come with the access to the members' lounge? Not only will you be able to experience one of the most exclusive Aurora lounges in Neon, you also have access to our private bar. Mm. The bartender down there is a personal friend of mine, and he sells some rather unique items. Well, what do you mean by that? 5,000 credits? <laughs> when I first saw that, I thought it said 500, and I was like... Uh, it's pretty steep, but, you know, I might be willing to pay that just to explore another part of this place. But 5,000 credits? Uh, I think we're going to pass on the membership for now. No problem. Let me know if you change your mind. If you need anything else, please, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Well, I mean, what what drink do you recommend? Of course I recommend our house specialty, the Chimera. It's a unique triple layer drink that I believe you'll find quite delightful. It consists of mild cold soju on the top, a thin layer of fruit liqueur in the middle, and a strong dark soju at the bottom. The initial mildness of Chimera slowly warms the senses, which rapidly transitions into a sudden burst of sweetness from the fruit liqueur. This sweetness braces the palate for the impact of the much stronger robust finish. It's a drink of my own design. Oh my gosh, I have to try one of those now. Yes, please. Drinks are permitted in the members' lounge. Uh, let's see here. Chimera. Holy crap. A Chimera? I don't want five of them. 488 credits? Gee whiz. Maybe we could trade. Maybe we could do a trade. Does she, will she buy anything from us? Let's see. Will she buy anything? So, oh, we can only sell aid to her. I could sell her this instant oatmeal, a uh, Jake Stout, which I think I'm hanging on for, hanging on to for somebody else, and Boggs Grog, which I think was given to us uh, by somebody else too. Maybe I should remember this. Plus twenty carry capacity for ten minutes. That could come in handy. 
Um, so oh, I, oh, okay. I, I have more stuff I could sell from the junk heap. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I could sell some stuff to her. Like I have these four alien liquors plus ten carry capacity for five minutes. I don't. I doubt that stacks. But um, damage plus damage resistance. I never. I never think to eat these things. Anyway, uh, I'm serious though. I, I do want to try this drink um, just to see if anything, you know, if anything comes from it. I don't know. Okay, we bought one. Okay, we ordered a drink. Now sit back, relax, and unwind. Okay. Hey there. Hey there. How, how, how's it going? I'm going to sit here at the stool. Ah. <sighs> It really looks like a comfy stool, doesn't it? Uh, there's a Camaro right here, but I'm not going to steal it. Um, <laughs> let's drink a Camaro and see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> this thing, it says it gives plus 10% persuasion chance for three minutes, plus 50% or plus 50 damage resistance, minus 15% oxygen recovery. So, I mean, this, it's telling me right there what this does for us. So it's not like, I mean, really, I'm not going to like drink it and, um, see something different or I don't know but plus 10% persuasion chance I mean that might be worth something because we may have to persuade her here in a minute as a matter of fact let's back out of here and um, drink this thing before talking to her like a, let me see I'm going to try to get the timing right so I'm going to do a save here and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to drink the chimera Okay, I just drank a chimera. Oh yeah. Okay. Ready to relax? Yeah, uh, I'm looking for a Yumi Komiko. You people should leave her alone. Oh. What do you want with her? Oh gosh. Why do you care so much about a Yumi? Not that it's any of your business. Oh. But we're very close. We're in love. <laughs> I refuse to let anything bad happen to her. No matter how much trouble she's gotten herself into. I see. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think she would know whether we're an old friend or not. So, yeah, I have some documents for her to sign. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Tell me another one. Oh, okay. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my oh. car before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. Oh. I suspect I would enjoy the attempt oh. much more than you would. Andreja disliked that? Oh. Who's going to throw me at you? How much is this going to cost me? Or I'm no debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. Um. Do we want them to know we're from the Crimson Fleet? I don't know. Let's see what this gets us. The, the Crimson Fleet? Oh my... I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge mm -hmm. is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. I see. Um, it doesn't look like I really have a choice, do I? Enjoy your drinks. Looks like you need to relax. <laughs> it's like you need to mind your own business. Uh, okay, so we still have... Oh, optional kill, Ayumi Kamiko? Micah has indicated that Ayumi Komiko, the Genardine executive I am seeking, can be found within Euphorica's members' lounge. I should proceed there immediately. Oh, should I? I should proceed there immediately. Is that so, game? Game's telling me that I need to proceed there immediately. You think I'm going to spend 5,000 credits to get in there? I'm going to try one of two things. I'm going to go back here and do-do-do-do-do. Now, see, this, I don't like this. She should have the key on her. I should be able to pickpocket her and get the key from her. Because otherwise, where's the key? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. 
Uh, unless the key is just sitting back here somewhere. Um, don't uh, believe I see it. I'm trying to look around her to see if it's on one of those shelves, but uh, yeah. Hey, what can I get you? <laughs> I was acting like I was with the bar the bartender there. It lets me forget. Um, so, uh, a moment ago, Andresia disliked something. What did she dislike? Did she dislike that I lied and said that I was a debt collector? Is that what she disliked? So what I'm looking for now is, is there a vent or anything that I could use to get in here? I'm just trying to bypass paying the 5,000 credits, as, you know, my character would. Um, so I tried to pickpocket her. She doesn't have the key on her. I looked around for the key. I don't see the key. Uh, so there's one more thing I'm going to try, and that is I'm going to leave this place and walk around the corner and see if there's like a back way in. I, I don't know. You never know. Maybe there is. Um, oh, there's a door here. Yeah, times are tough. Hmm. Uh, well, I thought we were on to something in here, you know, because it's kind of in that direction where I need to go. Uh, she did say down there, which indicated to me that this place is below ground. Citizen. Whoa, cool. I mean, uh, I'm from here. I've seen this many times. It's not my first time seeing that. That's not our ship, is it? It is. That's that's where we came in. I'll be doggone. Oh, huh. okay. Let's see here. Um, this isn't going to do anything for us. Oh, look at these like little places to hang out here. Interesting. Sleep crates. have we here? Warehouse 2. Hmm. Oh my goodness. It's a long way down. Got warehouse 2. Okay, now we're back around to the front. So... Let's go into Warehouse 2 and see if there's a way in. I don't know. That seems kind of far-fetched. Boy, this seems dangerous. Keep an eye on your kids. <laughs> just fit right through there. Yeah, just trying to find a back way in. Oh, neat. Whoa, look at this place. Let's see here. It'd be so much fun if I found a back way in. Seems kind of silly that there would be a way in through the warehouse, but this is kind of pointing in the right direction. That doesn't do anything. That's not the right button. He's trying to turn on my light. Okay. I mean, I have to imagine that this place is going to be story related at some point. Because right now it's just kind of a fairly interesting um, place. Disciple's Slate. Speak to Briggs. Oh, okay. So this is looks like it's part of a quest that we actually haven't started yet. This one called the Addition. Audition. I found a slate which shows that the disciples have some core kinetics military hardware, which was which has made them substantially more dangerous. The Ebside striker leader Briggs should be informed. Uh, okay, so we kind of accidentally uh, moved this quest along this mission here, a mission I wasn't really intending on pursuing at the moment. Well, this is kind of a bummer. Um, I really did get a little excited there. I was holding out a little bit of hope 
that maybe I could sneak my way into the members lounge from here because like I said I I think we're right behind it. I feel like Oh well, wow. that's That's as high as I could jump. What's gravity like on this planet? That's not the right button to press. Uh one, a grab of one. I mean, it's just like Earth. But, um... Can't jump very high. Boy, I tell you, that is just... Well, I, I, I knew that a, um... A warehouse was a long shot, you know, for a back way into the members' lounge, but it's worth it's worth a shot, right? It's worth a shot. All right. Well, I guess I really have no choice but to pay 5,000 credits. I mean, there's been a lot of times in this Crimson Fleet quest where I ha I've had to pay for things and have said, well, I'll make up the money uh, other ways. Hey, here's the space frog. Uh, but uh, I feel like... Uh, my opportunities to make up my money other ways are running th thinner and thinner. Right? Just keep spending more and more money. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, it didn't kill me! <laughs> it didn't kill me! Oh, but there's creatures in here. Um. Uh. Can I get over here without getting eaten by whatever that is? I tell you what, having survived, okay, having survived that fall, if I get eaten by a critter, I'm going to be upset. Okay, that's just a chas chasm bass. It's not going to hurt me. <laughs> Can I get out of here? <laughs> I doubt it. I mean, I guess I could always just fast travel somewhere, couldn't I? But let's see if we can get out of this. This game won't let you go underwater. Okay, I need to wait for my oxygen to come back. <laughs> so I was just trying... What I was doing up there was I was trying to back up a little bit and look into those uh, sleeping crate things just to see if maybe one of them had a trap door in it or something, some hidden door in the back. That's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to back up and look, but, um, didn't happen. Oh, there's a door here! Neat! Okay, well, we'll just go in this way. Some copper. I mean, oddly enough, I need copper. And it's just laying here. Nobody else is gonna, nobody's gonna miss it. Oh, now I'm encumbered because of my copper. And Andresia... <laughs> There she is. She's just going for a swim. Hi, Andresia. <laughs> I tell you what, she is one faithful companion. I mean, you know, if your companion jumped off of a bridge, would you also jump off the bridge? Don't know about that. I do not know how we survived that. I mean, look at her health. It's fine. Whoa. Okay. Andresia. If there is something I can do, please say so. Uh, let's trade a little bit of gear, okay? I am always willing to carry it. Let's see here. How's she doing? Uh, let's see. I'm going to give her, um, these resources. Let's see. Can I store our resources? Apparently I can, but I still, I'm, I'm still over encumbered after that. What? How? Huh? All right. Let's give her this thing. Okay. Man, she can carry a lot of stuff. She's strong. Um, here, we'll give her this uniform and this. Well, maybe not that. Uh, I'll never use that. And the maelstrom we're hanging on for, hanging on to for another quest. Okay. Thanks, Andresia. Let's see. We could ask her about this. Let's get this job, this work done here on Neon before we start asking her more personal stuff. Jenardine Worker. I need to swim by Reliant so they can take a look at these electric burns. Jenardine Industries. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. Bunch of people over there. Uh, the game's pointing me in this direction. 
Now this is probably where my character spent a lot of time as a neon street rat, you know, down here in the underbelly. Xenofresh worker. Yeah. How'd you get over there, Andresha? So we're going to take the elevator back up. <laughs> I cannot believe we survived that fall. That is just craziness. Okay, now where are we? Oh, we're just right back here. Okay, well... I really do not like the idea of having to pay 5,000 for this. How do I get these 5,000 credits back? I can, you know, I can do this. I can get 965 credits from her, but only a 55% chance of doing that. Don't really like those chances. She has a, a weapon that I have a 0% chance of taking. So that's... What is wrong with you people? I guess we have to pay for this stupid membership. I mean, holy hell. 5,000 credits? This just goes, goes against everything my character believes in. Man. All right. Hey, how's it going? Here for a drink? A chimera, perhaps? <sighs> I'd like to buy access to the member's lounge. Certainly. Now you do understand that the fee is for unlimited use and that it's non-refundable. Um, fine. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. We probably could have found one of these somewhere else in the game. May all your journeys be safe. But here we are. So, oh, it's actually up. She said down, but it's actually up. I don't know if that makes any difference. Hey. Oh, here's a particle weapon specialist. <clears throat> Outpost engineering specialist. Syndicate gangster. Here's a, a Yumi right here. A syndicate. Just syndicate. That's it. Tablet sitting there. Um. Anything I can get citizen. Hey Q, what's up? Hello there. On behalf of Euphorica, I welcome you to our members lounge. There's a tablet on the table behind him. Whatever you need from my private bar to enhance your experience. Can I get you anything? Some Aurora, perhaps? Uh, I thought Micah told me Aurora can only be bought at the Astro Lounge. <laughs> yes. Well, due to the extreme exclusivity of the Members' Lounge, we like to keep the fact that we offer Aurora <clears throat> confidential. You can rest assured that purchasing Aurora from this establishment is not only safe, it's completely legal. I see. Well, um, nothing for me right now, thanks. Of course. No purchases are required. You're more than welcome to simply relax, absorb the energy, and center yourself. We also offer an assortment of beverages, so feel free to browse our selection anytime. Oh, can you, um, well, before we get into that, you might get defensive. How'd you end up here, Q? Begging your pardon, I find that fraternizing with the customers can lead to problems. I prefer my private life remain my own. No offense intended. Hmm. Oh, I can respect that. Thank you. Let me know if I can help in any other way. Um, can you tell me anything about a Yumi Komiko? Miss Komiko is a dangerous person who's involved herself in illicit activities and associates with known criminals. She's clearly using Micah for her own nefarious oh. purposes. <sighs> Nothing would make me feel more relieved than their relationship coming to an end. <laughs> he likes to keep his personal life private, <laughs> but boy, he spills the beans. Uh, let's see. How do you know Kamiko is involved in illicit activities? How much do you know about Kamiko and Micah's relationship? Or, well, with any luck, you'll be rid of Kamiko very soon. Um, 
Uh, how do you know Kamiko's involved in illicit activities? It doesn't take a genius to deduce that there's some sort of illegal activity going on involving Miss Komiko and Benjamin Bayou. They've met down here in the members' lounge on more than one occasion, and frankly, they don't even attempt to be discreet about their discussions. I overheard them arguing about electrical components, delivery dates, and huge amounts of credits being split between them. I see. How, how do you, or how much do you know about Kamiko and Micah's relationship? They met about a year ago, when Miss Komiko visited Euphorica to purchase some Aurora. At first, they seemed very happy together. But recently, Miss Komiko's become more abrasive, and the two have been a bit distant from one another. Micah thinks they're in love, but hmm. I'm concerned that she's becoming a pawn in Miss Komiko's criminal activities. I can't bear to see Micah's heart be led astray. I trust one day she'll find a woman who will give her the love and respect that she deserves. Yeah. Well, with any luck, you'll be rid of Kamiko very soon. Oh my goodness! I trust I haven't convinced you to, <laughs> to kill her. That's not what I meant at all. All I want is for her to be out of Micah's life, presumably by getting as far away from Neon as possible. Yeah. All right, dude. We don't get to calm his fears that we're going to kill her. Peace, solace, and serenity be with you. Namaste. Uh, I want to read this tablet behind him here. Oh. Uh, here's Ayumi's offer. Here's some more evidence. Can't you see I'm busy, Estelle? What do you want? I've decided to accept your offer. Let's make sure this is absolutely clear. I don't want any screw-ups. I'll provide the shipment IDs, the equipment description, and schematics, and in return... In return, I disable the freighter, transfer the goods, and then transport it the rest of the way for final sale. You got it. <laughs> Too bad your friends back at the key don't know you're cutting them out of the deal. Hmm. I wonder what they'd say if they found out. Probably the same thing your boss in the big shiny tower would say if he knew you were funneling electrical components. Right? Well, we don't have to worry about that because neither of them will ever find out. Right? That's right, Tuts. Let's just enjoy the credits and keep our big mouths shut. Hmm? After all, it's just good business. It's just good business. That's why I'm not rich. Cause I don't I don't do good business. Yes? What? Okay. Uh well we picked up even more evidence. Exit. Oh, that is the way we came in, isn't it? Or is it? Oh no, here we go. Uh, oh man! Euphorica Lounge Pass. Oh, oh. <laughs> you have to use the lounge pass to get into the bathroom. I mean, what? I had to use the lounge pass to get in here in the first place. I have to use it again to go to the bathroom? I tell you. I tell you. It's not even that great of a bathroom. Matter of fact, it's it's beyond not great of a bathroom. You're just sitting here doing your business, do 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 do, and somebody walks in. No, thank you. I like have a little bit of privacy when I do my business. If you know what I mean. <laughs> TMI. I don't know. I don't think there's anything unusual about that. Uh, well, okay. Let's uh, before we speak with uh, Komiko over here, uh, I'm going to end this episode. And um, I guess we'll extort her in the next episode. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I, I have fun um, exploring and uh, talking to people in games. And what, what are you looking at? Howdy. Howdy. Uh, I have fun. I hope you're having fun too. If you are, watch, let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.